My original training is in plant breeding and quantitative genetics. Uh, I have worked in the United States and in Europe, um, recently returned to the U.S., and interested in insect resistance and drought tolerance in rice. Our goal is to begin to understand mechanisms that enable, enable rice and, uh, and other crops to grow in environments with limited water, limited irrigation, um, and to work with colleagues who are uh, doing plant breeding in the field in Nigeria and in other parts of South Sub-Saharan Africa uh, to improve germplasm and to understand the mechanisms that lead to increased yield under um, for uh, small farmers in the field. My focus is on natural variation. There are many people in, in different laboratories who are using biotechnology and so on, but my real skill and my real interest is to study natural variation and to work with breeders on the one hand and laboratory biologists on the other to understand how we can develop uh, rice and other crops with um, improved production under, for small farmers. Um, questions of biotechnology, these are questions to be decided by uh, governments and citizens in different countries. My personal focus is on natural variation. For two reasons. Uh, one is that um, Rice is similar to the systems where I've worked in for the last 20 years, so the approaches I've used can be applied to variation in rice. And secondly, rice is the most important crop for human nutrition in, in the world. Uh, it matters as a staple crop for three billion people, and, and uh, the poorest farmers in the world, rice is essential for their livelihood. This seems like a good reason. been very good. I personally, I have learned a lot as I have talked to colleagues around the world who are involved in rice improvement and they have been extraordinarily helpful and I think there are good possibilities for collaboration and moving forward together. Drought tolerance is of increasing importance with uh, global climate change we will presumably in many areas have higher temperatures and, all, and changes in rainfall. So in rain-fed and upland rice conditions, drought will be an increasing problem. And even in places where um, rice is currently grown in paddies or in other situations with irrigation, even here there will be decreasing resources for water availability and so drought is going to be an increasing, of increasing importance around the world. I think we're at a, for me at least, we're at a beginning point. I think colleagues around the world have made enormous progress over the last decades and especially in the last few years. Um, I look forward to collaboration with these colleagues here in Africa and elsewhere in the world and I'm hopeful that, that, that we may be able to have some contribution to join with the work that has been done by others who have, have brought this system so far already. What matters is um, the livelihood of people, the livelihood of the people that, that I have seen in my short time here in Africa, that I have seen elsewhere in the world, in India and China, China and so on. If, if we and other colleagues can make some progress that matter to, to, people, who work, to people and families uh, trying to support their, their relatives and kids, that, that would be just great.